Hi everyone, I'm Simone, technical partner reviewer for Kiloview. Today we are gonna looking at the procedure to downgrade your P1 or P2 encoder. Maybe you have upgraded and now the encoder doesn't respond the way you should expect. So let's jump in the procedure and see how the correct mode to downgrade the firmware. Let's go. At the time being of this recorded video, the actual version that suits your need should be the 4.7.2519 and the actual uh, Kilolink version shall be the tag version 1220. In my specific case, I've uh, upgraded the device on purpose just to let you see what's going on. Now I have the 4.7.2534 which doesn't suit this specific version of Kilolink so I am incurring some problems. On the link down below the video you will see this folder and you can download the tools we need to actually downgrade the encoder. First of all we have to actually download the Umbrella USB software. Once you have downloaded the Umbrella software right click extract in the download folder, open it, choose for Windows, Windows 7 and above and then choose the one for your operating system. In my case, I have a 64-bit version, so I right-click and run as administrator. Here, press OK. Now start the installation. Click Next and install. Now a pop-up window will be prompt on the screen. Click Next and then Finish. You can now hit Finish. Now you have to download the downgrade file for your own encoder. In my specific case, this is the P1. So I click onto this and download. Here is the version we have to flash in the encoder in order to downgrade the firmware. We can also download the version we have to then flash after the downgrade is completed. So I right click, download. And now I have all the files I need to actually downgrade the encoder. So let's open Umbrella. Now we have Umbrella open. We have to check these three things. In both configs, we have to choose for S2L DDR3 NAND. Right here we have to select SLA12. In the firmware, we have to find the firmware we have downloaded before. So this first firmware will downgrade the encoder to the factory reset. Now, what we need in order to achieve this downgrade? First of all, we need a SIM ejector tool like this or a needle to press and hold the reset button. Then we have to take a USB cable like this with full data capability. So you can choose the one with USB 2 or USB 3, it doesn't matter. We have to actually take the cable and put it in the second USB port of the encoder. This part is mandatory, don't use the first one, you use the second. So we attach now the encoder to the computer via the USB cable and the encoder shall be turned off at this point. Now I have the encoder in my hand, hold it with the reset button and press the power on. Now the blue arrow turns in the umbrella software, you still hold the reset button and wait to the completion of this thing. As you can see now you can release the reset button and the hardware is gonna be flashed with the previous firmware. Now you just have to wait till the Umbrella software do all it has to do. At the end of this configuration you will see uh, that the encoder is gonna be reset. Okay now it's rebooting and as you can see it says device status is ready. Now what we have to do is actually to unplug the USB cable and plug the USB to LAN adapter in our computer. 
the device will be accessible through the local link IP address, so at the IP address of 192.168.1.168. At this point, the encoder shall be accessible at the local IP address, so we type in the URL of our browser 192.168.1.168, press enter, and insert admin as user and admin as password. Don't be afraid, this is completely normal. The first um, login will be in Chinese language. What do we have to do now? We have to double click on this series of zeros. If we double click, uh, it asks for our authorization code. You will find the authorization code down here where's the barcode. You have to insert only the number. There's 14 digit number. You insert here and press enter. Now that you have typed the number, press enter. And as you can see, the web UI turns English again. Now you're ready to actually upgrade the firmware to the current available from the KiloView page and the stable one. In this case, when I'm shooting this video, the 2519 version is the stable. So let's flash it. Go into update firmware select the firmware you want to flash in our case this one set open and press upgrade as you can see now firmware uploaded and verified press ok and the device will be reboot okay as you can see now we have the stable version installed and that's how, how to downgrade your p1 or p2 encoder so, I hope you liked this video and found it useful. For any question, you can always contact us and reach us at www.kiloview.com or send us an email at support at See you in the next one.